Story, and it's 1999, and Brick Engine Driver is back. Uh, we're going to go back doing a retro today, and we're doing three late 90s SUVs, as I said, year 1999. So, this episode's going to be a little bit different than previous ones, as far as Brick and Driver goes, because I've learned a lot with editing, and I intend to put that to the test with this new video. So since these are SUVs, we're going to be doing a little bit different things test-wise. Um, we're going to be doing the moose test as usual for handling. But instead of the hill climb, we're going to go over to Bricksford and do the off-road course there, because I feel like that would be more relevant to these cars. Uh, braking, we're going to do the same. Acceleration, we're going to do the same. Uh, since these are ICVs, we're not going to be doing a straight-up speed test. We're going to do an interior challenge, looks challenge, and we're going to do a new features challenge as well. And we will also be doing a parking challenge in there as well. So we'll be doing our normal points system. And I'm going to display the... I'm going to do a little bit better displaying scores this time. With some new editing stuff. So keep your eyes on the bottom of the screen more. Because down there I will be... There's going to be little snapshots of the scores as we go through the different challenges. Which I think will keep you guys better updated as we go along but anyway as I said we're going to be here first as we nor as we used to with looks challenge interior challenge and then a features challenge and then we're going to go do braking and then go over to Bricksford and do the off-road course there as handling because I feel like that'd be more relevant so anyway Let's go in and starting in looks. And I like all these, I'm not gonna lie. I'll go free cam. The iron side in. Per no, not I I don't know why I keep calling it the iron side. It's the slide side, I think. Rock side. Rock slide surf. Sorry. Slap me in the face moment. Oh, uh, we have the 1994 to 2000 GCM Latitude and the 1999 Strangler Executioner. Car Crusher, GC, Blitzkrieg. So anyway, the Executioner, I, it's not my favorite car I've ever seen, but I definitely like the looks of it. Like the little details here, like the badge. Uh, one feature that I really like here on the exterior of the GCM is the sunroof. You can't do a sunroof with the curved piece like they have here, but just that is a nice touch. And I like the uh, red on white decals that they have going around. But overall, I think I'm going to give it to the Rockside Slurf 4x4. In looks really like the classical look of it all around good lots of great brick usage throughout so 15 points there just like we would do in the past uh, second place I did mention that I liked all the little extra details like this here and I like the wheels so I'm going to be giving second place to the Strangler. Crap, I just deleted stuff on the score thing. Thanks to my stupid phone and the, its stupid operator. So, Decker, Strangler, GCM. So, starting. 15 Decker, 10 Strangler, 
and then 5 GCM. And if I did this right, the scores should be popping up in the bottom of the screen right now. If I didn't do it right, then they won't or they'll be somewhere else on the screen. So yeah. Moving into the interiors, this is one of the few GCMs which, which actually has an interior, which is something that I do really appreciate. That was the wrong button, but hey, it put us right there. So it has, it's not a great interior by any means, but it does have extra stuff. It has the speedometers, has the proper dash. So overall, not bad. Um, I know who's gonna win this. It's the Strangler. Amazing job with the interior. Got the handles, nice seats. Overall, amazing. So 15 points going to the Strangler, giving it 25 right now. And again, score should be popping up soon. I think I'm going to be giving last to the Rockside Slurf. Surf, not Slurf. I don't know. Apologize in advance, I'm going to screw up this name a bunch of times. So anyway, so GCM's going to be getting 10 points and then 5 for the Decker. So as the points currently stand, the Strangler has 25 points, the Decker 20, the GCM 15. Also, let me know if you have any suggestions for editing in things for this series, because I do want to get back into this series as long as new cars come out, because I do like making it. So let's move into features. Um, some things I'll be looking for here. Some of my previously mentioned got hazards, turning signals, lights, things like that, and also brick count. And I know detail can most of the time overshadow brick count, but it still is a nice thing to have, especially for multiplayer. So whoever has the lowest brick count is probably going to get a little edge, but also other features. And if it has opening doors and hoods, that's an instant boost. So the Strangler is the only one to have separate turning signals, but does not have hazards as far as I can see, unless I'm not hitting the correct button. But it does have fog lights and then normal lights. So, not bad at all. Over here, no separate turning signals, no fog lights, but it does have normal lights and hazards, which for some reason activate the normal lights in the front, which I don't really understand. Decker, same thing, hazards and normal lights. So, for lights and other features like that, Definitely going to give it to the Strangler. But one thing is Strangler, take it into the editor here, 475 bricks. These are both low 300s. So I think I'm going to call it a draw because Strangler has the most features, but it also has very high brick count. So no points awarded to anyone there. Let's move into acceleration simple who can go the fastest in a distance is first we'll be doing more with the suspension once we get over to Bricksford but it seemed fairly good there seems a little tail happy and we're going to be starting up here at the yellow house so another new set up with brick and driver is I'm not going to be keeping this and I'm going to put a little music over because I know it can get a little bit boring with me just talking continuously and I'll make some notes at the end. So I'm going to do the acceleration challenge. It'll be a little more seamless next time I do this so I apologize in advance for that. But anyway, let's get going.
so that is the acceleration challenge complete. Um, as I said before, if you have any suggestions or ideas, please let me know. I'm into trying pretty much anything at this point. But anyway, our final scores, which should have been posted on the screen as you went along, 76, 75, 72. So all very close and very realistic speeds. But the Decker, coming out with 10 points. Strangler. With 15, giving it the lead at the moment. And the GCM with 5, setting it a little bit behind. So, of course, the scores currently stand at the Decker with 30 points, the Strangler with 40, and the GCM with 20. Now we're going to be doing a braking test. Sorry, I could not talk today. Like, at all. Same as before, start over here. 40 miles an hour, brake, see which stops in the shortest distance. And I'm going to be doing the same thing I did with the acceleration. Can't think, can't talk. Doing great. So, let's go. That is the braking test complete and as you can see not only did the strangler take the most time to stop it also got quite a bit squirrely there at the end of the stop so definitely going to be getting last here the decker did okay it was pretty stable uh had a little bit of lock up at the brakes but overall not horrible second place the best here by far the gcm very good brakes very stable little lock up not bad first place so decker 10 points added on strangler 5 the gcm with his fir first victory of the day 15 points so current points are decker 40 strangler 45 and the gcm 35 gcm is making a comeback so now we have to do the moose test. I'm going to do the same thing I've done for the previous two tests for that. So you will get to hear my annoying voice again in a couple of minutes. So I guess before we start, I should probably remind you on how the moose test works. We accelerate to approximately 30 miles an hour, take a sharp turn once we get here, and then turn around back onto the course. It will pass if it hits none of these cones and stays on all four wheels. It will fail if wheels off the ground, it flips over, or it hits one of the cones. It is allowed to lose a little bit of speed, but it can't, like, stop in there. So it just has to be within reason. Alright, let's go. test done uh the decker did fairly well i noticed driving it previously that it had a little bit of oversteer but it was able to control itself through the moose test get a pass these two had some understeer when coming out of that first turn which caused it to hit these cones thus causing them to fail this means the decker gets a bonus 10 points in handling while the other two do not bring it into the lead with 50 points So now, let's hop over to Brixford and see what the cars can do over there. Alright, so several game crashes later, we have arrived at Brixford. 
and I'll take a moment to explain how our handling challenges are going to work in the future. Gone are the days of Bricksville hill climbs. We will be doing a variety of challenges depending on the vehicle. For our SUVs and trucks, we will be doing the dirt course. For sports cars, and just normal sedans and cars in general, we're doing the little handling course here. And then for supercars and hypercars, we'll be doing the alpine course. And then for some cars, the sportier ones, we'll be doing a top speed run around the bowl. But these are not sporty cars in any way at all, so we will not be going there. So we're going to be starting with the rock side because I think that's a cool name. So how this is going to work is we're going to start right here at this turn. Parking brake doesn't really work that well for stopping. Merge onto the course, one lap, fastest time wins. However, if I feel that the driving is not very good, it's hard to control, it could lose points. All right. First person view. I'll be doing the same thing I've done the last couple challenges. All right, let's begin. Three, two, one, go. Alright, cross the line, 1 minute, 57.46. So I'm going to allow God mode because I'm not a very good driver at all, and I don't want the car to completely have a terrible time because either I'm incompetent or there is a bump. But I did notice the suspension on this very bouncy, and that did make it kind of hard to control in turns. So yeah, 1 minute, 57 seconds for the Decker, Rock slide, surf, four by four. All right, time for the GCM, latitude. Let's begin. Three, two, one, go. All right, that is the GCM Latitude with a time of 1 minute and 47 seconds. So full 10 seconds faster than the Decker was. Uh, just, there is still some suspension bounce. Sort of be expected with 90s SUVs. I mean, 
what else should I expect? Uh, considerably less understeer, but that was replaced with, I mean, oversteer, that was, was replaced with understeer. But a lot better handling control-wise than the Decker was. And that showed in his time. So now with the Strangler, um, I must admit I don't really have too high hopes for this. When I've been driving it around on my own, I've noticed it has a lot of oversteer. But we'll see how that turns out because three, two, one, go. That is the time. It is 1 minute and 52 seconds. Um, very bouncy suspension, kind of hard to control. I'm going to take 2 seconds off though for the uh, spin out crash thing up there because that was mostly my fault. So real time, 1 minute, minute 50. Doesn't really change anything though. With a more competent driver, I'm sure all these would be able to get around a few seconds faster. Probably getting them all under 150. But it's not a competent driver at all, because it's me. But anyway, I'm going to do that long jump and update the scores. So the GCM, back-to-back -back wins, 15 points. The Strangler got second, so 10. But the Decker passed the Moose Test, which gave it 10 points handling section, added on to the extra 5 since it came last here. 15 total points for handling. Now, let's add up the points. The Decker, Rock Slide Slur Surf by Car Crusher, had 15 points looks, 5 points interior, it was a draw on features, 10 points acceleration, putting it up to 30, 10 points braking, 40, 15 points handling, 55. 55 points out of a possible Eh, I didn't even remember what I had possible as. We'll figure that out at the end. The Strangler, 1999 Strangler Execution by Blitzkrieg. 10 points looks, 15 points interior, 25. 15 points acceleration, 40. 5 points braking, 45. 10 points handling, 55. So it is a tie between the Decker and the Strangler. Let's see if the GCM can break that tie. Five points looks, 10 points interior, 15. Five points acceleration, 20. 15 points braking, uh, 35. 15 points handling, 50. So it is a tie between the Decker and the Strangler and the GCM very close behind. So, although we have a tie, I think that's going to be it for today. Um, I don't really have any extra challenges lined up. So, yeah. It's a draw between those two and the GCM honestly could be qualified in that three ways. Well, it was super close. So make sure to go check out all these cars in the workshop. Their links will be down in the description. I also will have a link to my Discord down there. It's got, been completely revamped. New bots, new everything. Pretty good. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. If, it, if you have any suggestions at all for this series, I am open to them. I'm looking to improve this any way I can. Because I do like making this series. And I want to keep making it better. 
So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you next time.